Hello friends. This is Simple Shopping Cart with Stripe Payment Integration Tutorial Series, and in this part, we will discuss how to display shopping cart item in Bootstrap Popover. For this, we have go to index.php file, and we have make another load cart data function. This function will return shopping cart details under bootstrap popover. Under this function, we have start write ajax request, and under this first we have write url option set to fetch cart.php file, it will send request to this file. In second option, we have write method which has been set to post, so here we have used post method for send data to server. In third option, we have write data type, and here we have write JSON, so here it will receive data in JSON format. Lastly we have write success callback function. This function has been called if Ajax request has been completed successfully and it will receive data from server. Under this cart, we have write dollar with division tag id cart details with HTML method, and under this method we have write data dot cart details. This code will display shopping cart details under this tag. Below this, we have write dollar with span tag class total price with text method, and under this we have write data dot total price. This code will display total amount of whole shopping cart under this tag. After this, we have write dollar with span tag class badge with text method, and under this we have write data dot total item. This code will display total number of item, which we have added into cart. Now we have moved to write PHP code in fetch cart.php file, and on under this file first, we have write session start function. This function will start session here. Below this we have defined two variable like dollar total price with value zero and dollar total item variable value is equal to zero. After this we have write dollar output variable is equal to division tag with class is equal to table responsive, id attribute is equal to order table. After this, we have start write table tag with table column like product name, quantity, price of product, total amount of added product and action. Now we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write not empty function and under this function, we have write dollar session shopping cart variable. This condition will check, if this dollar session shopping cart variable is not blank, then it will execute if block of code, otherwise it will execute else block of code. Suppose we have already include some item into cart, then this variable has some value, and it will execute if block of code. And under this block we have write for each loop with dollar session shopping cart variable as dollar keys variable with dollar values variable. Under this we have write dollar output variable, and under this variable we have append this table HTML code. Here in first table column, we want to display product name details. So here we have write dollar values product name variable value. In second column, we want to display quantity details. So here we have write dollar values product quantity variable. 
for display product price details. So here we have write dollar values product price variable. Same way for display total amount of add product. So in fourth column, we have write dollar values product quantity variable value into dollar values product price variable value. Lastly for make remove item button, we have write button with name is equal to delete, class is equal to delete, ID is equal to dollar values product ID variable, so by click on this button, we can remove particular item from shopping cart. Now here, we have write dollar total price variable is equal to dollar total price plus dollar values product quantity variable value into dollar values product price variable value. This code will calculate total amount of whole shopping cart. Below this, we have write dollar total item is equal to dollar total item plus one. Here we have increased this variable value by 1, which will return number of item, which we have added into shopping cart. After this, we have again write dollar output variable, and in this we have append HTML table code. Here we want to display total amount of whole shopping cart. For this here we have write dollar total price variable, it will display total amount of whole shopping cart. This way, we have store shopping cart details in HTML table format, which we have store under dollar output variable. Now we have write dollar data variable is equal to array. And in this first key, we have write cart details, and value we have write dollar output variable. In second key, we have write total price, and in value we have write dollar total price variable. In third key, we have write total item, and in value we have write dollar total item variable, so this way we have store cart data in this dollar data variable in array format. Now we want send this data to Ajax request in JSON format, so we have write echo statement with JSON encode function with dollar data variable. This function will convert PHP array into JSON encoded string and send to Ajax request. Now we have go to index page and here we have called load cart data function. So when page has been load in browser, then this function will be called and it will display cart data on web page. Now we want to initialize bootstrap popover on web page. When we have click on anchor tag with id is equal to cart popover which we define under navbar. So here we have write dollar with anchor tag id cart popover with popover method. By using this method, it will initialize bootstrap popover plugin. Under this, we have write HTML option set to true, that means it can fill popover body by HTML code. And in second option containers set, what has been set to body. After this, we have write content callback function, and under this function, 
we have write return statement with division tag id popover content wrapper dot html method friend first we have refresh page and now we have click on shopping cart then pop over slide down on web page and under this we can see shopping cart with zero item added into cart with checkout and clear button. So, in this part, we have discussed how to fetch shopping cart data from session variable, and then after we have load shopping cart data in bootstrap pop over plugin. In next part, we will discuss how to add item into shopping cart.